Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the beloved Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty with everything cranked up to the maximum just to see if it is possible. And it turns out it is. We've already done the first few five school missions and as a repetition the last time we purchased an Atlas II off of the black market that's also why our funds are so incredibly low. So time to get some extra funds with this perfect mission. We are um, fighting on a flashpoint in the succession war, two and a half skulls for the Draconis Empire. And uh, those guys, we already had our first few interactions with them. We're in relatively good standing with them. And let's see what he wants. Uh, da -da -da -dum. Oh yeah, oh, I remember. That was, uh, I think that was his mother. And um, she and him had a, a yeah, fallout, so to speak. Uh, Lady Kellen didn't approve of her son's or her daughter's choices. And we're essentially working for her to kind of uh, get her daughter back um, in her right mind. Her daughter has uh, essentially crossed over the family. And now House Kulan uh, asked us to work on it. So effectively, this is part of the Liao houses. And we would get some decent reputation out of it quarter three quarters of a million and we got a few tonnage restrictions which is fine let's see maximum 75 tons well it just so happened that we actually do have a black knight in here that falls under this category and it just so happens that we have a couple of lighter mechs a few griffins now that's going to be interesting guys because we are be just below the maximum tonnage, so almost as if it uh, was perfectly planned, we are dropping like a really high hitting mech. Unfortunately, I took all of uh, the lost tech out of the Black Knight, so this here is a pretty basic vanilla laser boat at this point. The Centurion here is going to be our LRM boat. We got two brawlers in the front with lasers and SRMs. So that's going to be interesting. I don't fully remember the flashpoint, but I have vague memories that it was that it was interesting and good. So let's give it a try. We're fighting on the lowlands, which is kind of a moderately warm biome, so we should be fine. Good, here we go. So Commander Yuto was her daughter indeed. She's driving or riding in Orion and we gotta kill her. That's why the mission is called Assassinate. Time to land in the lowlands. And we gotta kill her, the mercenaries and the reinforcements. So this is going to be a rather thick mission. Let's fight over here. Nice high ground, a lot of um, options to stay in the woods. Affirmative. And if we play our cards right, we should be fine. This is where I put it. Oh yeah, this here is a great place for an ambush. If we were to run up uh, down here, we'd probably be pincered. Affirmative, Commander. Acknowledged. Sometimes you simply got to acknowledge that the enemy will probably backstab you and we're taking proactive measures of preventing that, which is yep, running up and hopefully getting these guys that would have just ran over and uh, backstabbed us. Instead, we're running over and trying to hit them here from high ground. Couple of light mechs, medium mech. Oh, this here would be a perfect place for a thumper, right? Couple more medium mechs. 
Interesting. For orders. So moving over here, we only have a bit of a re a resolve. So we're taking vigilance so that we're getting the 40% reduction. And let's go for the enemy. Got a griffin here. Spider and a Jenner and an unknown mech. Okay, cool. Waiting for orders. Good. Lily moves up. Let's try to hit the Griffin as much as we can. I got you. And we're continuing to stay in 40%. Uh, damage reduction territory, which is why I'm not going to the ledge. We're instead going to take that hatchet man here. And let's reduce his splits by two. Got a nice little sensor lock over here. Full Black Knight will take over this side of the battle. Taking a couple of minor hits, nothing that we should be afraid of. I mean, we we'll could move over here, right? I think that that here is the safer play, though. Moving back. And let's precision strike. 40% damage reduction seems to be plenty. Confirmed. Trying to hit the spider and we're hitting it. Absolutely fantastic. One more hit from the LRMs and the guy should go down. What are your orders, Skipper? Centurion moves over to here. We're continuing being in LRM boat. And to be honest, I think Here that that will go. kill the spider. There we go. First one down. Griffin tries to hit us, but that's two damage. That's neglectable at this point. Confirmed. We are... Moving over here. You know, by thinking about it, I might just stay where we are and let the Hatchet Men act first. Centurion takes minor damage. We can certainly retaliate against that fi uh, Phoenix Hawk. Moving a tiny bit back, and I just want to make sure that the Hatchet Men will be taken care of before it gets too close. Because I know how the situation will unfold if we're letting this guy roam freely. He has a pretty nasty melee attack. Alright, Hogbite. Unloads nicely. And then takes minor damage from the others that are coming in. Why is Hogbite receiving a headshot yet again? He's always getting like these one-off headshots. Completely random. Unnecessary, right? I would say let them act first. We're in a solid position. No need to sweat it. Yeah, he moved just a tiny bit, which means he just lost all of his evasion just from moving there. Same here. Might as well go for the Phoenix Hawk first. And the Hatchet uh, Man 
<laughs> Moves away. Okay, cool. I hear ya. Can we get both of them? All right, this On looks like a multi-shot target. One and two. Here we go. Riffin loses his remaining evasion sticks. So does the hatchet man. And now let's deal with the Phoenix Hawk down here. I originally wanted to hit the Phoenix Hawk, but by moving away, we also lost line of sight. Got one. Heavy mech, that's potentially the Osiris. Target confirmed. All right, this guy is almost done. Moving over here. And let's make sure that we're hitting the hatchet man really well. All of the shots were a fantastic hit. His other uh, other side is essentially opened. Two rounds of Black Knight. And the sky is now completely open. Oh hell yeah. It's on. All right, light max. Just don't deal enough damage to be concerning. The general down here can't even really reach hey, us. I read you, Commander. Time to hit the Phoenix Hawk and get him down. Uh -huh. Stability damage almost yeah, took it down. Confirmed. On the move. Riffin moves up and gotta be careful not to overheat. But yeah, this Phoenix Hawk has taken a lot of damage. Connection on that one. Enemy Griffin. Minor damage at best. Ready to rock. Acknowledge, Commander. Moving back. And this Phoenix Hawk's potentially going down now. Copy that. There we go. Target down. Fantastic. Like, those three guys are focusing so nicely on the one flank. Good. What can we do with Hop right over here? Good vigilance, so that we have a 60% damage reduction, and let's destroy this one side. Enemy mech, critical damage detected. Warning, 
Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah, 60% damage reduction will turn four damage missiles into one damage missiles. Well, three damage missiles into one damage miss missiles for sure. Four should be, um, yeah, should still be two points of damage. No, they aren't because it's always rounded down. Okay, cool. What are your orders, Skipper? Yeah, the way that it works is damage is rounded down. Commander. Let them act first and we'll take the next action. Now we're keeping the 60% uh, damage reduction, that's fine. And this time the Griffin is our new target. Look at that, just so much damage, fantastic. LRMs are gone. Critical hit, Commander. And the Griffin is now unsettled. Coordinates received. Tell me what to shoot. Full LRM salvo, which leads to a explosion. Lots and lots and lots of hits, but that striker made a crucial mistake. Do we want to move up? No, we don't want to. They're teasing us. Just to get a bit closer, but that's not going to happen. Instead, let's focus here. And this should be a kill on the striker. There we go, vehicle destroyed, fantastic. Hogbite has almost killed the hatchet. The enemy vehicles are being cleaned up as we speak. And our other front looks amazing, like that griffin here Skipper. is soon going to be history, so let's move I'm up. Rolling. All right, that was too much. He's knocked down and we can now get three shots in. It's potentially going to be it for the guy. Locked yeah, quad shot, center torso, and he's Enemy going down. down. So there's only a Jenna left over on that Wait, side. You, Not necessarily the most scary opponent. In the meantime, we are moving over here. Full throttle. Bit of cooldown. What can I do for you? Don't need to tell and me the Centurion I... braces. Next round, I'm going to destroy that vehicle. And the Jenner is now going completely crazy. How? Why? Why would you do that, Jenner? Well, the hatchet man. No, it's a javelin. Well, the hatchet man will try to do Ready something to along the lines.
Alright, can't fully hit this guy. Not yet. Roger that, Commander. Triffin moves up. Jenner. Small lasers are fine. Let's try to hit it where it hurts. That's it. Inflicted some nasty on that some bitch. Jenna just lost its evasive defense, which is the only thing that it really had in order to to defend itself. Copy that. I copy. Target destroyed. And there we go. That's a kill. Waiting on you, Commander. So one of the enemy forces is already completely destroyed. Black Knight moves up. Let's continue the little fight here. A Manticore, all right. Taking 60% damage reduction. And let's hit this guy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good, so you can't directly see him, but 75% is still decent. Time to die. Oh, hell yeah. it's on now. Yeah, that hatchet man will eventually fall. What are your orders, Skipper? I'm there. Good, time to go for the javelin. We will most likely learn that it is actually a really, really bad idea to just charge in. Good to go. Location confirmed. All right, that guy is almost down. Eighty sixty-five. What are we looking at? Okay. All right, so that's the right call. Multi-target, hatchet man. And then everything else onto the javelin. Here we go. Got it. That was a fantastic turn. Black Knight moves up again. Fully unloading onto the hatchet men. Tech warriors, show them what you got. I'm rolling. Fantastic, good. Affirmative. The position up here is super strong. Uh, we could fight downhill. The others did mostly ignore us. And once we turned into kind of the middle where they originally planned the ambush, we could fully retaliate. You got it. Roger. Moving to position. Normally the last one is kind of here. Oh yeah, well. Also this time, surprise. Holding for tactical advantage. You. Good, getting a bit closer. Full throttle. Black Knight moves up and Lily moves up as well. Okay, fantastic. So far, so good. Let them come first. There we go. They'll get one shot. 
And that was pretty much it. Skipper. Let's see if we can fully get them down. Copy that, Commander. All right, starting to unload. Orders. Moving to position. Continuing to unload. Coordinates received. And full unloading from the LRM battery. That was a nice chunk of damage. That's a critical hit. Taking vigilance and taking precision shot just to get that half of the Orion off. Fantastic. Just lost all of its armor. But we're just continuing to unload, to be honest. Enemy down. Well, that was fast enough. Oh yeah, Yuito mentioned now that that our uh, that our task giver was her mother. And that, of course, will get us into a difficult question. Shall we continue to align with her mother or not? Hogbite is out for good for now. But we got some sweet, sweet credits. Very good. Yuito offers us now to work against her mother because in reality Yuito wanted to kind of liberate uh, the planet and that again brain, uh, brought shame to her mother. House Cueto doesn't really like that. We're of course going to stick with House Cueto because they are the bigger faction. We don't break our contracts. Fantastic. Good, and that brings us to Succession War Part 2 in the Lowlands, where it's yet another assassination. So it's pretty straightforward, really. Uh, mm, She's not playing around. It is assassination after assassination. We're going to see that in the next episode. Uh, same loader, same squad, but a bit of a different loadout. Let's Ready just check our pilots before we go. Yeah. Standing by. Skipper. Fantastic. More hit defense. Mech warrior training complete. He got six, 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 six. That is an interesting set of skills potentially should have gone higher in gunnery for Tigan. But yeah, one thing that I like about the run, although maybe uh, for the viewer it's not as appreciative because we can't see all of the last skills, is actually that we haven't gone into 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 with all of the pilots. It makes it a bit more dicey uh, whilst we, we are working uh, against five school missions. Uh, with 10, 10, 10, 10 and tactics specifically with the quad shot bonus and really high gunnery, you're getting relatively certain shots. And you will see that in some of my after campaign videos where I'm going through lances with absolutely maxed out uh, soldiers or mech warriors. But yeah, that is will potentially not be part of uh, this campaign because in order to get them to the highest level, the campaign would uh, be just taking even as long as it took to get here and i want to make it somewhat crisp and concise 
So we already know what the last mission is going to look like for now. Uh, let's continue uh, with uh, the flashpoint here, then do a few missions, and then we're already doing the victory lap in the last mission. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you enjoy Battletech as a content, feel free to leave a comment in the section below telling me about that, or just hit the like button. That also helps. Thanks, and take care. Bye-bye.